Gamora. This is Keevan. Bluegrass waterfowl far. We had uh, six, six swan cognates hatched off Thursday morning. All growing and doing good this morning. What are y'all doing, little boogers? Y'all don't like being interrupted, do Watch them. They're going to go eat now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll uh, be right back. I'm going to have to break this video up into two or three parts and throw it together. So i got some stuff to show y'all and talk about. So we'll be back in just a minute. We had to, uh, well, I mean, we didn't have to, but we did. We added us a work helper to the farm this past week. We got a lot of shoveling and digging to do, and we just wasn't able to get it all done by hand, so we had to add us some help to the farm. It's a Mahindra, it's a Emax 22S. So far, pretty happy with it. It's uh, got four wheel drive, high, low, neutral, the bucket, raise your bucket up and down, and all that good stuff. It's only got 91 hours on it. It's a two, 2017 model, uh, hydrostatic. So you got a pedal for forward, and a pedal for reverse, and your brake, and your PTO, throttle, light, speedometer, fuel gauge, all that good stuff. The three-point hitch, which the top bar, Got it off. Uh, does have live PTO and turn off and on. All we have right now is the uh, front end loader on it. Hopefully later on, I'm trying to add uh, finish mower maybe and a couple other implements to help us out around here. It's already come in handy, that's for sure. I hope y'all can hear me. I try to try to talk a little louder here. Wind is something awful this morning. But uh as you can see, we've already dug a pond. It's a uh, 10 by five, pretty much. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, wasn't planning on it to have water in it already, but 
I have no control over the weather and we got a lot of rain yesterday morning. We started hauling some uh, crushed rock around to go in some of the holding grow out pens. Gotta throw all this in there. And I don't know, we worked about 30, 45 minutes yesterday morning bringing that around here and then all of a sudden the clouds opened up and it didn't stop till yesterday evening. So, but anyway, this is gonna be a grow out pen right here where I'm standing, where this pond's at. I'm gonna run a little gate across right there from pen to pen. And then this right here, probably come off the corner probably set a post there maybe i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna come off this and come down and join on the second post right here this is where i'm gonna have to join to i'm not gonna be able to come all the way over to the end like i'd like to but eh, i'm only gonna be losing about six foot five foot so did you see that big old tree root right there that's a big one and i'm not gonna try to cut and bust and break all that up because that's gonna take a lot of work and i got uh, too much other stuff that needs to be done before trying to cut and bust that up but then we got another tree here and another tree there. And I'm sure we got roots under the ground right here. So that's one reason we we'll just come on over here to the second post and start and come straight up. Maybe a bypass a lot of these roots. The, these are our holding pins, kind of dirty. We've had chickens in here still got a few chickens not a whole lot but <clears throat> i got four of these pins oh me you see there you are uh, uh what are them six by 12 yeah those are six by 12. so we're gonna use them as some holding pins for maybe some of the smaller birds uh silver tails cinnamon tails some of the smaller birds like that but then like i said this was gonna be a holding pen this is gonna be the pond for this holding pen uh whenever this water leaves or if i have to pump it out then we're just gonna put a liner in this instead of cement in it uh, cement would be a whole lot better yes but I need to hurry up and get it done. So we're just gonna put a liner in it and see how that goes. Uh, this don't have a drain in it. As you can see, the ground's pretty level here. Don't have a backhoe to dig this all out. I'm trying to save money because I gotta buy wire and post and everything. I've already got the metal, so our two little ponds and our other grow out pens. We just pumped them out every morning with a sub pump. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. Depending on how many ducks we got in here, uh, probably have to change this out every other day, maybe every three days. And, but this will all, like I said, this will have a fence there joining this and then i'm just gonna put a big gate there so i can still get the tractor in and out if i have to and then of course it'll have a net over top of it like this pin here and see this pin here is uh gonna have I gotta dig another pond down here on this. I'm gonna dig it right here in this corner because when it rains, this corner likes to hold water. So I'm gonna take out that pond liner 
and dig a pond right here in this corner like the one up there probably five by ten close to it and then this one will be ready it's got to put some more crushed stone down here uh gotta get this that's what i'm saying we got a lot of work to do and we're running out of time so but this section of uh, fence right here i'm gonna take this loose we gotta pull this post up and uh i gotta uh, move that post over about three foot and i'm gonna fix either a double door entry or one big single door I'm trying to decide which way would be the best on that um gotta get it big enough that i can get the tractor in there to dig that pond and to put some rock in there so that's kind of what we got going on busy 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 always trying to improve things and trying to grow and make things all around easier and better for the birds and everything uh oh yeah i'm gonna hold on i'm gonna show y'all something else i'll be right back all right we are back swans they're kind of mad upset because their little ones are gone uh as i'll show y'all yesterday like i told you earlier we started moving rock and then it started raining on us and everything blah 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 so we figured being as it was raining be a good time to work on some more boxes we couldn't do nothing else outside so here's a new style box we come up with kind of looks like a overgrown birdhouse i got a piece of rubber on the roof got shavings in there and then i put a little hay in there try that out got some mini, got some mini ramp for them to go up into got a four inch hole so, uh, try them out see how they work thought they was kind of cool uh, let's see what was I gonna tell y'all? We got, uh, oh, I need to go check on that silver tail. We got a mandarin laying in this box. She should be about ready to start setting. I had a cinnamon tail laying down there in a box, and it was a different box. I took it out while I go, done away with it. It didn't have no board in the front. This is kind of a little open spot there. And she'd only been sitting about two days, and yesterday morning before the rain hit, we was feeding. I was checking everything, and I seen two eggs laying on the ground. I went down there, checked, and sure enough, something had been in her nest. Broke it all up. So I just took the eggs all and put them in the incubator. Uh, let's see what we got. other cinnamon teal she's setting in that red box there wood duck is still setting right there in that box got a mandarin sitting right here in this box got a white mandarin sitting right there in that red box uh, right there in front of that red box right over top of that shelled up that little box there i got a silver wood duck hen she's sitting in that box and over behind her i need to go check on silver tail 
number two, she's setting. She's due to a hatch here in just about any day. So I've just been trying to keep an eye on her. See what's going on. No pintails laying yet. No falcade laying. Hopefully they'll start laying here in a few days, some of them, but that's about it. I just wanted to show y'all, talk to you, tell you what's going on, give you some updates. Got some silver teal in the house. Hopefully it's gonna hatch here in the next couple of days and then silver teal down yonder is gonna hatch. I got some more mandarins in the house that's supposed to hatch. Uh, this wood duck's getting close to time to hatch. So, everybody just have a great day. Stay safe as always. We thank you for watching our videos, following us, and until next time, thanks y'all.